and welcome back to another video so we are thursday the 18th of april and at the time of filming this about 10 minutes ago i was stood downstairs in the kitchen i've got a piece of kitchen roll beer glass and my phone standard procedure <laughs> super professional but no basically what happened was earlier today at work i was doing the scissor thing now if you don't know what the scissor thing is the scissor thing is this thing i do with scissors <laughs> hence the name and basically they're not nail scissors they are cutting scissors like actual cutting scissors that you use um, for cutting paper and crafts with and basically what I do is I score away my nail cuticle off the nail plate with a giant pair of scissors it is the worst thing in the world and I subconsciously do it it's not even like I realize I've picked the scissors up do you know what I mean when I say that? It's almost like you're doing it, but you don't realise you're doing it. And you'd be sat there thinking, love, you've got a pair of scissors in your hands. What the hell are you talking about? You don't know what you're doing. But I don't, I just do it. It's just something that I just do. And then I'll realise that I've, what I'm doing, I'll be like, for God's sake, stop it. So I thought I'd better just do something about it because otherwise I'll just find anything to get it off with. Um, this colour's been on for, oh God, um, over a week now. And they've done, these nails have done four sets of nails, um, last weekend. And, yeah, <laughs> they are battered and bruised and we've got some growth on them because I um I didn't do a proper infill or anything with these I just kind of repainted over it oops <laughs> so yeah they're a bit manky but I just thought I'd show you the Ethel and the um, Katie tools because I haven't I haven't really road tested them. I don't really nip on clients. It's more on myself. Um, but so yeah, I just thought I'd pick up the camera and just show you um, and just have a chat really. Um, the tools are super expensive, but you absolutely get what you pay for. You won't be disappointed at all. Um, you know, I didn't buy into, into them at first. Um, because I don't buy into the latest thing. And when a product comes out, you know, usually what's happened is a company has approached people in their industry or their line of work or people who have an audience they want to talk to and say, you know, would you like to try this product? Um, I'd be really grateful if you could do a review. And that's fine, like, absolutely fine. But... You know, you don't always know what's been agreed or, you know, advertising is a funny thing, isn't it? And I would be really peed off, just put it out there, if I bought something on someone's recommendation because they'd benefited from recommending it in some way, even though it's crap, and I've wasted my money, I'd be absolutely fuming, I'm not going to lie. So I waited for like Joe Blogs, <laughs> um, you know, for their you know for their reviews to come in, not people with 
massive YouTube channels and massive followings and all that, you know, people who are, you know, on the ground doing videos because they really enjoy it, trying to build a channel, um, you know, I haven't really got enough followers for a nail, you know, for a business to approach them, you know, that kind of thing. Um, that's what I waited for. And yeah, I wasn't disappointed. And you won't be disappointed either. Um, and I do have a discount code for Navy Pro. Um, I bought the tools myself. They were they were mine. I bought them out of my own money. Um, but Nail Tech HQ on Facebook. We're given a discount code um, on the back of another admin actually promoting the brand um, herself from a, off her own back. Um, uh, she was approached and said, you know, thank you for promoting my brand. Here's a code for you. So if you do want to order a Navy Professional, um, it's Nail HQ 15, all in capital letters at the checkout but the details will be in the description box below for you and you can also get a discount on glitter and gel and nail art and the links and discount codes will be down there for that as well if you want to go and have a look i recommend that you do so yeah so my cuticles won't look pristine and perfect um, because my nails, my skin's always really dry. Like I say, I have to polish it all up, make it look really nice. And, you know, I have tried uh, on myself. I've tried, you know, cuticle tool, ethyl and uh, Kate, Katie the nippers. I've tried uh, using the cuticle tool, ethyl, and then an e-file cuticle bit. And I've tried an e-file cuticle bit and then the ethyl tool, which you can see in the video here. And there is a place for both. Both work together. I wouldn't do one without the other, personally. I think you need to do them both, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. You don't have to take it as gospel because it isn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, do both. But like I say, my clients were absolutely gobsmacked. Um, it takes so much off your nail, but they were absolutely not. You know, they weren't in pain or anything like that. It doesn't take off any of the actual nail. Um, you have got to be a little bit more gentle than you would a normal cuticle pusher. You know, adjust your pressure because it is that they are so sharp. Um, you know, you really have got to be careful with them. And if you are buying Navy Pro or you do have Navy Pro or you know any tools really. Um, I massively recommend their hygiene system. They're like disposable, degradable, vegan, eco-friendly, Blue Planet approved, <laughs> whatever um, wipes that are like medical grade sanitization level, which you don't get with um, normal sanitizing methods. I do recommend those. They're really good. Do like them. I do like them. So yeah. So what's new with everybody? I hope everyone is well. There's been a lot of new subscribers. Christ knows why. I've got about 20 videos waiting for me to set live. They're all uploaded. I just need to unhide them from the channel. I'll hopefully get around to that this bank this bank holiday or weekend. Let's hope the weather stays nice. 
I'll be popping out tomorrow to go and buy my annual fan. I buy a fan every year so it doesn't break. <laughs> I hate being too hot. And that's about it really. So I hope you enjoyed this video. A bit of a rambly one. And thanks for watching. And I'll hopefully see you again soon. With maybe a video with slightly more purpose. But sometimes it's just fun to talk isn't it? See you soon.